Hello, Wild Thought listeners. Today is another great day to see what direction your life could accomplish. I know it takes a lot of self-competition to get up and do what takes you over an hour to do. In this listening status, we power on the self-control. And with self-control, we go over whether or not if you feel you are wasting even a minute of your short existence. If you should quit the job that is paying your bills and go toward the path that makes you happy. The ever after is produced by the conscious membrane. Stay in the present of an overflow of knowledge and capture what you can or let the drip come over you and wash your stream of life Just whatever we do, whatever we decide, do not become a stagnant pool that breeds bacteria, a bacteria that will kill your progress. You, listener of Wild Thoughts, are lucky enough to be born on this wild planet, lucky enough to listen to the knowledge drip. So... Do not let more opportunities pass you on by. The passing of an opportunity, it is time to take over your existence and life and think. Let's dive deep. Let's ponder. Let's dig our shallow grave. (sighs) This is Wild Thoughts with the Big Bang. Hmm. All right, now that we got our intros over, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been inspiring this lovely knowledge drip. We are now moving across the country with it. And not only across the country, we're moving across the waters and we're moving across pretty much the energy vibration that is sound and wave and, you know, electronic energy management power fuel whatever you want to call it however we travel through this world the power of vibration and the power of uh membration and the power of ims have brought us to this point we as a collective group have moved on across the seas we're in india uh australia we're over the seas in the uk and even some people in damn near africa and india all right like I'm, I'm just this just podcast this knowledge drip is sweeping over the nation slowly slowly it's called a global globalization takeover slowly global globalization you guys know what i'm saying that's a hard word to say because i'm trying to get it out global anization yeah whatever it's called well this is the beginning of it you start with one you start with two you lay a brick here you lay a brick there the bricks grow the seeds start to the bricks start to get higher then you have those bricks plant more seeds and those seeds start to get higher and then damn it you have a whole near forest now i know what you're thinking you can't please everybody you can't please everybody that's 100 percent true and that's why in this podcast this knowledge drip we are not here to make everybody happy we are joyous joist we are joyce just here to produce the leaders of the free world the leaders of the next generation of human becomings yes that's why we're here we're not here for the for the followers the has-beens we're here for the leaders all right so we're going to go over today some more affirmations uh the power of no guarantees all right it is called the power of no guarantees so we'll get into those great affirmations and then uh, i think i'm gonna take a break for a little bit just because i've been doing so well on the podcast scene lately and you know some people say you should uh you should just like um keep producing and keep putting them out there and i'm like whoa slow up i got we got a lot of new listeners this podcast is fucking growing nationally okay there's a lot of shit that a lot of people have missed out on because one not a lot of people were here at the very beginning not everybody was here there was a few listeners at the beginning so you guys understand what the hell is going on but there are some of you 
that don't know what is going on in this world or what's going on in the world of the knowledge drip and how many explosions of cum we have put on your mother's backs during this what we call sexcapade of life and the movement of energy which it's moving and we've been blowing and we've been uh pushing and we've been planting seeds and we've been sowing seeds and we've been throwing seeds and this week i have been watering my seeds big time with all of you great listeners i have been watering the seeds that is wild thoughts i've been given a little invoice there been given a little bit of uh construction there been uh you know putting together and guess what now it's time for me to sit back and let all the great listeners of wild thoughts dive back into the old ones and then we can move on so that's pretty much the last podcast for may from me and then we're gonna jump back into more of it in june and then in july of course because june we're gonna have a whole new set of rules i got big stuff coming up that's also the reason why we're taking a break and you won't know about those big stuff until i tell you in june so stay tuned keep writing into the show you can write in at reflife32 at gmail.com or if you don't feel like writing into the email which is i know it's hard to write an email especially some of you can barely speak english but that's okay we're working on it and you can follow me on the gram yes the instagram you can follow me at ref life 32 on there i always post great great pictures mostly the type of pictures that we post on ref life 32 are that of the writings that we went over that day so you know if you feel like you missed something if you want to see how it's written if you want to see what it's done if you want to see how it looks like just hop on the gram and you can check out that beautiful handwriting that you know we produce for you here at the big bang studios all right now let's get into our affirmations we're like oh seven minutes in wow i only want to do like 15 minutes but that's okay we're going to get into some affirmations and then we're going to finish our codes of ethics and then we're going to call it good for this this uh great month of may as you may say all right here we go i am a successful voice i am a wealth machine i am a mover i am a thinker i am a genius <sighs> i am more adventurous today than i was a uh, yesterday i am not afraid i am able to manifest my mind i am a winner i am satisfied i am self-respect i am on time but sometimes i am too creative to be on time i am perfect I am not afraid to change. I am courageous. I am confident. I am alive. I am believable. I am a great talker. I am a voice of energy. I see the plan I have created for the next five years. I am glad I enjoy my life and myself. I feel the energy. I am good and I am living my dream. That was the first page. Let's jump on over to the second page. You can turn with me if you want. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. You can't turn over because guess what? I'm the only one in the world that has this book. So you better listen on because you ain't got this book. Only I do. Second page. I do not play it safe. I do the thing that I am capable of. I do not conform to the crowd. I will be rich. I will be successful. I do not planning on being part of the 95 percent i am a plane i part i plan to be part of the five percent i am part of the five percent i know i am part of the five percent i am afraid sometimes that it will not work out but i know that i am capable i know what my worth is i come to this life to win I know I do what it takes. I am the greatest knowledge dripper ever. I'm a great driver. I am a pleasant person. I am not a sheep. I am an eagle. I do have fear, but I still do it. My life with the wild thoughts has changed dramatically. 
It has given me the opportunity to help thousands of people change, and people are so afraid of change. But with the powerful energy that we have created, with the living beings, we will create the change for millions. Well, well, maybe thousands. I don't know. Maybe hundreds of thousands. I don't know if it's going to be millions, if it's going to be thousands, if it's going to be hundred thousands, or if it's going to be a billion. But if it was a billion, that'd be ridiculous because our goal is not a billion. Our goal is like, you know, a couple of like billionaires, you know, a couple of billionaires here and there, like four or five, 25, eight, 18 billionaires, something like that. All right. <laughs> so we are conquerors and we are human becomings all right guys well that was it for our affirmations of may that's all we have as you can hear the book is now closing and the book is closed and that means no more affirmations for any of the listeners until may that's right no more i mean may until june so stay patient stay pleasant my friends now let's jump in Let's jump into the uh, code of ethics here. Now, I know I was going to do all of them, but there is a lot. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 codes of ethics. Okay. We went over the first two in one of the podcasts. You can look back. That's why you guys have to look back. And now we're going to finish the other, you know, 10. So today we're going to go over... 10 codes of ethics and then we're going to call good here we go number three i will forgive those who are unjust toward me with no thought as to whether they deserve it or not because i understand the law through which forgiveness of others strengthens my own character and wipes out the effects of my own transgressions in my subconscious mind i will be just generous and fair with others Always, even though I know that these acts will go unnoticed and unrecorded in the ordinary terms of reward. Because I understand and intend to apply the law through the aid of which one's own character is, but the sum total of one's acts and deeds. Whatever time I may have to devote to the discovery and exposure of the weakness and faults of others, I will devote more profitably to the discovery and correction of my own. I will slander no person, no matter how much I may believe another person may deserve it, because I wish to plant no destructive suggestions in my own subconscious mind. I recognize the power of thoughts as being an inlet leading into my brain from the universal ocean of life. Therefore. I will set no destructive thoughts afloat upon that ocean, lest they pollute the minds of others. I will conquer the common human tendency toward hatred and envy and selfishness and jealousness and malice and pessimism and doubt and fear, for I believe these to be the seeds from which the world harvests most of its troubles when my mind is not occupied with thoughts that and tend toward the attainment of my definite chief aim in life i will voluntarily keep it filled with thoughts of courage and self-confidence and goodwill towards others and faith and kindness and loyalty and love for truth and justice for I believe these to be the seeds from which the world reaps its harvest of progress growth. I understand that a mere passive belief in the soundness of the golden rule philosophy is of no value whatsoever, either to myself or to others. Therefore, I will actively put into operation this universal rule for good in all my transactions with others. You hear that? Universal rule is for good in all transactions with others. I understand the law through the operation of which my own character is developed from my own acts and thoughts. Therefore, I will guard with care all that goes into its development, realizing that enduring happiness comes only through 
helping others find it. That no act of kindness is without its reward. Even though it may never be directly repaid, I will do my best to assist others when and where the opportunity appears. Okay, so now that we have gone over the last little bit of code of ethics, the last 10 of them, and if you're wondering how do I get the other two, well, go find them and then you can write into the show. You can leave a comment of it and then we'll live life on the edge of our seats and we'll drive our cars fast and we'll take shits in the ocean and we'll fuck and then before we know it's going to be june 1st and guess what we're going to do another damn knowledge drip all over this world so keep tuning in keep listening keep doing it enjoy your life until next time this is wild thoughts with your host the big bang